Football, with all its pageantry and thrills, bounces back into the spotlight tonight as the college all-stars battle the Green Bay Packers, champions of the National Football League. 65,000 fans are on hand here at Soldiers Field tonight on Chicago's lakefront. Millions more are viewing the game over 209 television stations from coast to coast. This year's All-Stars, one of the most talented groups in the history of the series, have the personnel to cope with Green Bay. They have the size, speed, and ability, but will need a little something extra to beat the experienced pros. But win or lose, every member of the Collegian squad will remember this night as the high point of his football career. Otto Graham, head coach of the All-Stars, reports that his players are in fine condition and confident of upsetting the Packers. Vince Lombardi, Packer coach, who has driven his squad through the most strenuous two-and-a-half-week program that veteran players could remember, is risking professional prestige tonight. The stage is set. The field lights are dimmed. A spotlight picks out the first All-Star. He's Leroy Jordan, center from Alabama. Jordan accepts the game ball from the All-Star Queen, Barbara Laughlin, DePaul University. And here's the starting team for the All-Stars. The All-Star coaches trot onto the field. Mike Scarry, Danny Lavelli, John Sauer, Tommy O'Connell, and the head coach, Otto Graham. Here's the champion Green Bay Packers head coach, Vince Lombardi. The Packers win the toss and elect to receive. Bob Jenks of Miami kicks off for the All-Stars. Herb Adderley, number 26, takes it on the eight. Here he comes now. Gets back 15 yards to the 23 before Walt Sweeney from Syracuse throws him down. We're underway at Soldiers Field. The Packers want to start fast. Bart start quarterback, Taylor, number 31. At fullback, Moore's in there at the other halfback post. Here's a pitch out to Taylor. Sweeps left end, and he makes seven yards up to the 30-yard line. Bart Starr, the quarterback, number 15. A long count this time. The handoff to Tom Moore. Here he is running wide around right end. And it's five yards on a first down on the Packers, 35. Fred Miller made the tackle. Start quarterback. Looks like the first pass. Here it is, out in the flat, intended for Boyd Dowler, number 86, and Boyd dropped it. Three games, a big one for the proud Packers. Star back again. The target is Tom Moore. And he can't hold on to it. That makes it fourth and ten. And Dollar punts. It's a good punt. 57 yards. And Lewis Guy lets it bounce around before the Packers down it on the All-Star eight. The All-Stars have the ball. The quarterback for the All-Stars is Wisconsin's Ron Vanderkellen, number 15. Barks him out. Fumbles! But it's recovered by the All-Stars. Larry Ferguson, Ohio, with dove on it. They made a one-yard gain. Second down, nine. Van de Kellen taking a long count here. That's Ferguson charging into the line. A massive tackler stop him after a yard. And a motion penalty is declined by the Packers. Ferguson carries again. Fumbles. Willie Davis recovers for Green Bay on the All-Star 11. There's a big break for the pros early in the game. The pros have won 19 out of 29 All-Star games. Bart Starr quarterbacking. And off to Taylor. Hits left guard. And Jimmy Dunaway of the Stars stops him after a one-yard gain. Dunaway weighs almost 260 pounds. He's from Mississippi. Starr back. Wants to pass. Swings one out to Moore. And it is caught on the two. Tom Janik ran him out of bounds. Packers really have a threat going. Here's the handoff now to Taylor. Finds a nice hole. Hurdles a tackler. Topples into the end zone. And it's a touchdown for the Packers. Five minutes to go in the first period. And Jerry Kramer, number 64, will try the point after touchdown. It is perfect. And the Packers lead 7-0. Dan Grimm, number 67, kicking off now for the pack. 
taken by Charlie Mitchell at the 10, and he sprints back 19 yards to the All-Stars 29. Mitchell's a real speedball from the University of Washington. Van de Kellen still quarterbacking. Hand off to Ferguson. Here he is cutting back for 11 yards up to the 40-yard line before Willie Wood brings him down. Van de Kellen back. He aims one at Flatley, the former Northwestern great. It's good, and Flatley drags Adderley another five to the Packer 45-yard line. Van de Kellen back again. This time he passes out in the flat to Ferguson, but Hank Reminger drives in there and hauls him down after a three-yard gain. It looked like he was going to make more yardage than that on that one. Again, Van der Kellen is back. Throws up the middle. It is good to Jenks. Nine yards on this one to the Packer 32. Wood making the stop. It's first down for the All-Stars. Van der Kellen rolling out. Throws. It is caught by Jenks, and this is good for six before Wood moves in again. Second and four now in the Packers 26. And here is Thornton, number 30 from Nebraska, Thunder Thornton, ripping around end, good for three before Whitten and blocked him out of bounds. Thornton was Nebraska's most powerful runner in his senior year. On third and one, here he is powering over left guard for three and a first down. Vander Kellen back, being chased, trapped, runs out of the trap, and he gets five yards before Ken Ivan makes a shoestring tackle. Vanderkellen, a real fine scrambler, never loses his poise. The handoff to Thornton, he's tripped up before he reaches the line of scrimmage, a loss of a yard on this one. The Packers still lead seven to nothing. All-Stars have the ball. The handoff this time to Ferguson, there he is driving into the middle, picks up a couple. Fourth and four, and Otto Graham sends in the field goal team. Jenks will attempt the field goal from the 20. Here's the boot. It is good. It's the Packers 7, the All-Stars 3. Two and a half minutes to go in the first period. Dave Robinson of Penn State will kick off for the Stars. It's short. Frank Mesnick has trouble picking it up here, but he gets back to the 34-yard line before he's piled up. Packers ball, they lead seven to three. Star. Overshoots Max McGee on this one. The ball goes out of bounds. The handoff to Taylor. And here he is inside right tackle for six. Dunaway bringing him down. Third and four. Star back. He's rushed, he throws, it is picked off, it is intercepted by Tommy Janik at the All-Stars, and here he is returning now, 28 yards to the Packer 27 before Bob Skaronsky halted the rush. The All-Star bench is real excited now, and no wonder. All-Stars line up smartly. Vander Kellen barking out the signals. Here's a pitch out to Ferguson, but Iman knocked him down on the line of scrimmage. Fakes the handoff, Vander Kellen throws, his target is his old Wisconsin teammate Richter, he hits him, and there goes Pat between three defensemen to make a beautiful catch and carrying to the Packers six. That ends the period with the score, the Packers seven, the All-Stars three. It is first and goal for the All-Stars on the six. Let's watch in slow motion. The handoff goes to Ferguson. There's a big hole, look at that hole at guard, and he plunges on through, and it's a touchdown for the All-Stars who lead, and Packer coach Vince Lombardi isn't too happy about that display. Jenks attempts the conversion, it is good, and the All-Stars are in front 10 to seven, with only three seconds having been played in the second period. All-Stars will kick off Jenks boots, and Earl Grow, number 40, takes it on the goal line. He's powerful. Up he comes. 
and Bobby Bell, big number 78 from Minnesota, brought him down on the Packer 26. Now the Packers set, and they shift. And off to Taylor. Guard pulls out to lead the interference, and he makes two before Danny Brabham of Arkansas makes the stop. Packers with a lot of poise, the poise of professional champions, taking their time. Now here's Starr dropping back. He aims and he hits Max McGee, number 85. Good for seven yards before Larry Glick, number 40 from Villanova, stopped him. Third and half a yard. And off to Moore, runs wide to his right. Gets some fine blocking, he's out in the open now. The all-star defenders try to have him in, finally do, as Junius Buchanan. Big number 67, hauled him down a 27-yard run. First down. Packers have the ball. And the handoff goes to Moore. And over the center he goes. Reynolds, Bob Reynolds, tackling him after a four-yard gain. Man in motion. Taylor, the ball carrier, through the middle he goes, finds a hole, and he gets 15 yards to the All-Star 18. Again, Starr, mixing up the plays, goes to the air. Ames went all the way down to the goal line, but it's no good. The target, again, was McGee. Long count by Starr. And off goes to Taylor. Runs wide around right end. Four yards before a swarm of All-Stars stop him. Now it's third and six. Starr back. Rose. And it is batted out of the way by Lonnie Sanders from Michigan State. Fourth and six, so Jerry Kramer will try a field goal from the 21. It is up there. It is good. And the score is tied 10 to 10 with 10 minutes to play in the second period. Grimm will kick off. Not too deep. Taken by John Mackey of Syracuse on the All-Star 16. He brings the ball back to the 32 before Jan Barrett, number 82, makes the stop. Vander Kellen back into quarterback once more. A handoff to Ferguson. And he goes through the left side for six. Big Willie Davis, number 87, was the principal tackler. The handoff to Ferguson, a real workhorse again tonight. And he manages to gain three on this one. Third and one. A long count. There's Thornton in the middle. And he's good for three yards and a first down. All lined up. Vander Kellen back. This time he's really swarmed. He has to eat that ball. Iman and Henry Jordan brought him down. A six-yard loss. Fourth and 16, Janik punts. And it goes out of bounds on the Packer 41. A 21-yard net kick and a break for the pros. There goes Elijah Pitts in motion. He gets the pitch out from Starr. And Buchanan, a big 270-pounder, and Leroy Caffey thrown for a loss. There was a clipping penalty that hurt Stillmore. It puts the Packers back on their 20. Game is still tied, 10 to 10. We're in the second quarter. Bart Starr, a gambling quarterback, plenty of confidence. And here is a long pass. Intended for Pitts, overthrown incomplete. Starr says, let's try another pass. Back he goes. Gets a good rush. And he's thrown for a four-yard loss. Third and 34. Third and 34. Starr back again. Throws up the middle. It is good. This time it's caught by Ron Kramer. And it's an overall 20-yard gain. Kramer, a real hard man to stop. Fourth and 14, Dollar will punt. Gets it away from the Packer 36. 
Mitchell signals for a fair catch, but Howard Williams runs into him, and the penalty will move the ball now to the All-Star 38, where the Collegians take over. And new platoons come in for each team. Vander Kellen, back at quarterback. He waits, he throws out on the flat. It's caught by Ben Wilson, number 49, from Southern Cal. Good for seven yards. Dan Curry making the tackle. Wilson taking the handoff, sweeps around right end. 12 yards on this one and a first down on the Packer 43 before Iman stops him. Another long count at the scrimmage line. Vander Kellen finally fades back. The Packers surround him, tries to run, and he slips, and Henry Jordan brings him down after a one-yard gain. The handoff to Mitchell. Here he is scampering around left end, good for 16 yards, a first down for the Stars before Willie Wood stops him on the Packer 26. Mitchell was Washington's leading ground gainer last year. Now let's try the other side, and again it's Mitchell carrying. This time it's Hank Greminger who brings him down with a two-yard gain. Charlie Mitchell is an outstanding pass receiver, too. Vander Kellen fades again. He's trapped again. He escapes. And he makes four yards. Willie Davis finally grabbing him. That makes it third and four. Key play, and there's Wilson driving straight ahead. And he makes three yards. Conference on the bench. It's fourth and one. What to do? Well, let's see what surprise Mr. Van der Kellen has in mind. There's a pass out on the flat to Hugh Campbell. He was on the ground, but he made the catch for a first down on the 16. A very difficult pass to guard against. Here's Wilson carrying again. Off tackle for seven to the Packer nine-yard line. And the Packers are threatened by an all-star squad with a lot of poise. Mitchell runs wide. Greminger comes in, nails him for a three-yard loss. He was the first man to reach him. Vander Kellen trying to run. And this time it is Iman who halts him for a one-yard loss. That makes it fourth and seven. Now let's watch in slow motion as Jenks tries a field goal from the 19. Adderley runs in and blocks the ball high in the air and gives the Packers possession on their 20-yard line. A very fine defensive demonstration by Herb Adderley. 28 seconds to go in the half, and here's Groh running right in. He gets five before Dave Robinson tackles him out of bounds. Earl Groh will carry again. Here he is, taking the pitch, and he makes eight yards up to the 33, where Larry Glick stops him as the half ends. With the score tied, the Packers 10, the All-Stars 10. A mighty fine display of football with more to come. Before the tense battle resumes, let's watch the halftime ceremonies, which get underway with the annual award by Chicago Tribune Charities to the All-Star player judged most valuable to his team in the previous year's game by a vote of newspaper men. Here to present the award is the president of the Football Writers Association of America, Bert McGrain of the Des Moines, Iowa Register Tribune. Receiving the trophy is John Hadel, former Kansas star, for his outstanding play in the 1962 All-Star Game. The history of All-Star halftime entertainment is studded with brilliant band performances, and the talented group now on the field will long be remembered by this enthusiastic crowd. This is the Barberton High School Band of Barberton, Ohio, the only all-brass high school band in the United States. Their amazing precision marching and musicianship delight the fans whose applause is loud and continuous. The cameras now swing to the west side of the field to pick up Wilfred Smith, sports editor of the Chicago Tribune, the man responsible for the planning and production of the All-Star Game, who expresses appreciation to the All-Star squad and coaches and the cooperation of the professional football leagues whose member teams made available their freshman talent. All-star games have contributed an impressive part of the more than eight million dollars raised by Chicago Tribune Charities to ease the burden of the needy of Chicago. The teams are returning to the field and the second half is about to begin. 
It's a 10 to 10 tie as Grimm kicks off for the Packers to open the third period. Kermit Alexander of UCLA has it. Comes back to the All-Star 20. Fumbles, but it was after the whistle. Glenn Griffin, number 10 of Mississippi, is the quarterback. The handoff goes to Mitchell. Carries over center, gets two. The ball on the Collegians, 22. And a Packer lunges offside as the ball is snapped. Griffin has to run. He escapes a couple of tacklers here, but big Urban Henry has technique. A neck tackle stops the runner, and Henry twists him backwards and shoves him away, but a penalty costs the Packers five yards, and Coach Graham is yelling encouragement now. Griffin, the quarterback, drops back, throws, and he hits Mitchell, who gets two yards before Wood knocks him out of bounds. Third and one. It's Thornton taking the handoff. Drives over two and a first down. The all-star line is standing up beautifully against the pros tonight. The rushing is good. Here's Thornton carrying wide. Hyman and Willie Davis get a good pursuit angle on them. Bring them down after a three-yard gain. Griffin, the quarterback. Keeps the ball. Makes two yards. Jordan, the tackler. Griffin throws, and it's dropped by Flatley. Griffin was one of the nation's leading collegiate passers last year. Wants to throw another one, he does, and it is incomplete. Looks like still another pass. It's wild, and it is picked off by Herb Adderley on the Packer 43, and here he is battling his way for 37 yards. He gets to the All-Star 20 before Griffin blops him out of bounds. Another break for the Packers. The All-Star bench is mighty tense. Moore runs wide with the handoff. Now throws a pass, and it rolls off Boyd Dollar's fingers, incomplete in the end zone. The Collegians have lost four straight All-Star games. They want to win this one mighty badly. It's Taylor running off tackle. He's good for four on this one. Don Brum moves over, making the stop. Taylor cuts inside tackle. He's met head-on by Big Leroy Jordan. No game. Fourth and seven. Kramer is going to try another field goal. This time from the 23. It is off the mark. And the All-Stars take over. Otto Graham has coached the All-Stars to one win in five tries. Griffin is quarterbacking yet. And this time he runs into the line. A swarm of tacklers stop him after three yards. And a motion penalty moves the ball back to the 15. Griffin wants to throw, fades back, gets good blocking, throws up the middle, and it is caught by Hugh Camp right in front of Whittenden, a net of 12. Griffin, back to throw again. This time, it's good to Pat Richter, and it's good for five yards, a first down on the 32. Now Vander Kellen is back in action as quarterback. Here's Jordan charging through the blocking, and he knocked down Vanderkellen for a 10-yard loss. Now Griffin is quarterbacking again, replacing Vanderkellen. Rolls out, throws to Mitchell. It is caught. Good for three before Iman trips him up. Iman's been a real defensive star for the Packers all night. Griffin, back to throw again. This time he hits Thunder Thornton on a screen. He gets 13 yards before Iman and Wood make the stop. Now it's fourth and five. And Janik comes in to punt. Willie Wood gets the ball. And here he is returning now to the Packer 32 where Darrell Sanders from Ohio State brings him down. The handoff to Taylor. Over the center he goes, makes two. Jordan making the tackle. Big Jordan from Alabama, real good linebacker. Bart Starr, as usual, quarterbacking. Waits and throws, and he hits 
Ron Kramer for 12. Lonnie Sanders, the tackler. Packers with the ball. Bart Star back. Throws to Dowler. Janik runs him out of bounds on the All-Star 46, a gain of eight. The handoff to Moore, and Tom slants in for eight to the 38 before stopped by Bell. Bell's the All-American from Minnesota. Jim Taylor drives in at left guard. Dunaway gets him after a one-yard gain. Starr wants to pass. He's mixing them up. His target is McGee. He hits him. It's good for nine. A first down on the All-Star 28. Glick making the stop. Taylor into the line, and this time he is stopped cold by a swarm of All-Star tacklers. Graham looks a little tense. Bart Starr goes back to the air. And here is a beautiful diving catch by McGee in front of Glick. 14 yards on this one. A first down on the All-Star 14. Now it's Taylor plunging through the middle. Fumbles. And it's recovered by the All-Stars on the 12. All-Stars ball, and Mitchell smashes through tackle, nets five. Second and five. All-Stars ball, the game is still tied, 10 to 10. Here's Mitchell. Going to tackle again, he makes three yards, and that ends the quarter. It's still tied, 10 to 10. Mitchell's been a workhorse back. He's been running inside and outside tonight. He and Ferguson have both really worked hard. 15 minutes of playing time remaining now. Fourth quarter underway at Soldiers Field. Here's the handoff to Mitchell. And Mitchell finds himself a nice hole. Picks his way through guard for seven yards. A first down on the 27. Now here's Thornton sweeping around right end. And he makes five on this one before being grabbed by Iman. Handoff to Thornton again. Wide around left end. 16 yards. Look at him go. Really thundering tonight. Wood and Ron Kostelnik are the tacklers. There's a happy all-star bench. They've got a hunch on this one now. Mitchell cutting back at right tackle. And he gets through for 18 yards before being brought down by Willie Wood. Another first down. The stars are moving and the fans really love it. Griffin takes another long count, trying to confuse the defense. Throw the timing off a little. The handoff to Wilson. Swings around left end. Pulls his way for seven before Iman again makes the stop. This time on the Packer 27. Griffin back to throw. Gets it away. It is wild. No good. Griffin back again. Throws. It's good to Mitchell, but Greminger tackles him after one yard. And notice how the All-Stars are mixing up the offensive formations. Now here's a field goal try on fourth down. Jenks kicks. It is good. And the Collegians move in front 13 to 10. Now, can they hold that margin against the National Football League champions? Jenks will kick off. It's pretty good. It's taken by Adderley on the six. It's a good run back. He's got some daylight. And he's through to the Packer 42 before Glick and Roger Cookman tackle him. A clipping penalty on Green Bay sets the Packers back to their 14-yard line, however. Elijah Pitts sweeps wide around right end. Finds a little running room on the sidelines. And here he is sprinting for 43 yards to the All-Star 42 before Kermit Alexander brings him down. The Packers are pretty desperate. Starr tries a pass. It is batted down by Larry Glick. Starr back again. His target out in the flat is Elijah Pitts. It's good. And here goes Pitts for 12 before he falls down trying to cut back. Star back again. The target, Boyd Dollar. 
five yards before being tackled. And the Packers may be on the move. They're not wasting much time getting that ball in play now. Star hands off to Elijah Pitts. He loses a couple. And a holding penalty costs the Packers another 15, putting the ball back on the All-Stars 46. That makes it second and 26 now. Star goes to the air. Ron Kramer dives for the ball, makes the catch on the Collegians 33, a 13-yard gain. Star wants to throw again. He does, and again the target is Kramer, and this one's good for 16 yards. Sanders making the tackle on the 17-yard line. A first down for the pros. They are moving. Star fumbles. Pitts falls on the ball, however, the pros recover on the line of scrimmage. Pitts tries to run wide. He's being chased by Fred Miller, Brabham, and he's down for an eight-yard loss. Third and 18. Time is running out for the pros. Star fakes the handoff. Throws a pass. It's caught by Taylor. Bobby Bell stops him with a shoestring tackle. A six-yard loss on the play, even though the pass was completed. Fourth and 24, and Kramer will try a field goal for the third time. He's kicking from the 37. It's in the air. It is wide. No good. And Alexander's runback attempt is stopped by an official whistle here. The fans are happy. The Stars take over on their 20. Vander Kellen hands off to Thornton, runs wide, makes two. He's hard to tackle. These All-Stars look mighty tough. Now it's Mitchell slashing over right guard. He's good for five. It's third and four. The ball is on the 27. Vander Kellen back. He throws. It is grabbed by Richter on the sidelines. He shakes off Wittenden, pulls loose for one. Watch him now. He's in the clear. A three-man blocking escort. Watch Pat Richter go. It is a touchdown, 73 yards, 19 to 10 for the Collegians. And boy, oh boy, are they happy. A tremendous Vander Cullen to Richter play. Bedlam on the bench on the all-star side. Jenks will try the conversion. It is good, and the Collegians lead 20 to 10. The upset is certainly in the making tonight. Little over three minutes to go. Jenks kicks. It's taken by Grow on the three. Pacing himself a little bit here to try to find an opening. But it's blocking for him, and here he is coming back 34 yards, and Griffin moves in to knock him down. Star at quarterback. There's a swing pass out to Pitts. It's good for three before Brabham stops the play. Bart Starr in the air again. A throw to Kramer. Makes the catch in front of Lon Sanders. A nine-yard gain for the Packers, trying desperately to come back. The All-Stars, of course, are willing to concede that short pass to protect against that bomb. Starr tries again with a yard to go. Janik knocks it down. The pass was in Denver Dollar. Incomplete. Third down now. Again, the target is Dollar. It's good for six yards on the sidelines to the 33. Janik making the tackle. It's first down. Now it's Starr. Passing in the flash to Tommy Moore. Takes it on the dead run. And again, he's dropped for a loss, even though the pass was complete. These All-Stars are putting on a real good rush, and their pass defense has been magnificent. It's second and 17. Back goes Starr. He throws to Kramer. It is caught by Kramer. And Sanders knocks him out of bounds after a 19-yard gain. And first down on the All-Stars, 19. Starr passes again. This time he hits McGee. And he gets down to the 12 before being stopped by two desperate All-Star tacklers. Third and three. The Packers have a real quick huddle. Get set for action. The pitch out to Taylor. Runs wide. Fakes a pass. And then is knocked out of bounds by Robinson after a one-yard gain. That makes it fourth down and two. And, of course, they will still 
try to go for that touchdown or that first down. It's Taylor driving through tackle. He gets three. He's got the first down on the all-star eight-yard line. It's first and goal to go. Again, Starr tries a pass. It's intended for Boyd Dowler. It is incomplete. It looked like he had it for a second there. It's still... Goal to go, the ball on the eight-yard line, another pass. The target is McGee. It's no good in the end zone, but there's a call of pass interference, and the Packers will get that ball on the one-yard line. First down, goal to go. There's an all-star offside here, but Taylor keeps going anyway. A one-yard plunge into the end zone. A Packer touchdown with six seconds to play. Looks like it's too late to win, though as Jerry Kramer of the Packers kicks the conversion. The Stars lead 20 to 17. Time for just one or two more plays. Grimm will kick off. The run up, the boot, he kicks it deep. Mitchell gets the ball, brings it back slowly. And finally falls on the 17 yard line as the gun ends the game. A stellar all-star triumph, pleasing the players, the fans, and the coaches, and they're a cheerful bunch as they leave the field. The all-stars laughed at the odds and the experts tonight. They not only beat the Green Bay Packers 20 to 17, they brought them to their knees with a resounding type of football and a display of courage that stamped greatness on their star-spangled jerseys. Many are terming this the best ever in the 30-year history of the college professional rivalry, one of America's great sports classics, another demonstration of the enterprise and public service which are expressed every day in the pages of the Chicago Tribune for more than 45 years, read by more people than any other Chicago newspaper.